Okay, in this video, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna do challenge activity uh, six point five point one uh, function function uh, on the functions, and it's a uh, factoring out factoring out unit conversion calculation. Um, I haven't done this yet. Uh, I, I haven't looked at it, and uh, so I'm gonna um, I'm gonna work through the problem. So uh, and uh, do my thinking out loud, so you can sort of see what what uh, how, how my mind works when I'm finishing these problems, and uh, if I uh, and some and as you know, sometimes I mix up my programming languages, and so I may just uh, uh, Google a Python question uh, if I have a problem if I have a question about that, and uh, and you'll so you'll see that too. So let me get move this out of the way, and uh, <clears throat> all right. So so in this problem. Uh, well, let's look down here. Uh, I guess we're supposed to create a function like this that takes this as input and this as uh, as input, two inputs, two arguments, and it outputs of a value. And uh, so uh, we have this. The first thing we input is a mile is a miles per hour number, which is this thing, and the second thing we input is a minutes traveled how, how how much time uh you you, you spend traveling and so so at the, the, this program um you input how fast you're going and you input it at, as miles per hour um, and then you input um how many minutes you traveled okay uh you know it's it's uh, you know very likely and where we live it's going to be a fraction a, a fraction of an hour but but we put the speed in as miles per hour so we're going to take those two numbers and figure out how many miles that, that we travel. And so you see in there, we're going to have to do a minutes to hours uh, conversion probably. So anyway, um, so so up here it gives you, uh, this is what we're going to input, this is what we're going to input. And then uh, we, we create this variable here called hours traveled and that gets, and, and that is, uh, the minutes travel divided by 60 it makes sense if you if you travel 90 minutes that's an hour and a half uh, and then uh, and then you multiply those two numbers together and you get this miles traveled and that looks like that's what we return okay so uh, so so let's look up here and see what we're talking about can say so it's like Here's the pizza, pizza diameter param. Uh, that's a, this is a more complex function, but uh, and but in this example, we we are creating a function that uh, that that takes uh, uh, the, we were creating a function which calculates the. The area of the pizza. I guess we're supposed to return the area of the pizza, total area, the pizza area. Yeah. So we're creating a function called pizza area, and uh, it, there's a parameter there for um, circle diameter. Okay, I see. And so we have two two circle diameters. Diameters. We want to figure out the area of, of the pizza uh, of each of these pizzas. So we uh, and then the total area. Okay. So so anyway. Um, so the the idea here is we're taking, looks like this code, and we are, uh, which looks just like this code here, and we're putting it in a function. On oh, pi is, pi is defined inside there because we don't have to know about pi outside. So okay, great def. Okay, so I think to do this, um, I would go create a def, and it looks like this is the name of the def copy this and paste it there and parameters look like um well you know we'll just use this whole thing with the closing parentheses copy paste so we got a we got our function definition there and uh, we're going to return uh, miles traveled yeah We're going to return miles traveled. So, um, so I'm just going to copy this for an, 
uh, no, it's, you know, I, I guess I don't need, um, it, it's, it's, I'm going to copy all this, copy, and I'm going to paste it because that's my function, and I'm just going to do paste and I'll straighten it out. Okay, this, this is indented, this is indented, this is indented. Oh, no, this is out here. Okay, so I don't need that in here. That, that comes in as parameters. So let me get rid of this junk. So uh, we get a miles per hour coming in. That's going to go there. We get a minutes traveled coming in. That's going to go there. And this comes from here. And this is the miles traveled. So this is actually what we're going to be. This is what we're going to be returning. It's going to be this. Well, you know, I'm going to be fancier this time. I'm just going to go return. Yeah. So. Uh, when this function is called, uh, it passes these two as per, as uh, arguments, uh, which it which it read in, and then it then this thing starts takes these two parameters, uh, does this calculation first, it calculates this, then uh, it has then it takes and multiplies that by miles per hour, and uh, just like this, and that's the value that it returns. Let's see. Yeah, that looks like that worked. All right, so um, uh, that looks like, uh, so I hope that helped. Uh, thanks for watching.